Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet, and one of the youngest and emerging Linux distro, MX Linux, recently released its latest version, MX19, codenamed Petito Few, which is quite appropriate for MX Linux. It's a Spanish word that means ugly ducking. In brief, the story is about a bird which used to get bullied by a bunch of mean ducks simply because his appearance is different and he is perceived as ugly. But later he grows up to be a beautiful swan and has the last laugh. And I think MX developers are quite aware of the fact that there are many well established and also new entrant Linux distros that give more emphasis on looks than MX Linux and they are not shy in admitting that. Looks has never been a top priority for MX Linux, yet it has gained a lot of popularity in recent years, which is quite impressive, especially considering the fact that it's been here for only 5 years. It's currently at number 1 spot in DistroWatch page hit ranking and it has held that position since last 12 months. So in today's video, we are going to review MX Linux 19 covering the latest updates and new features introduced in the latest release and also look at the reason for its rising popularity among Linux users. Alright, so let's get started. Now I had done review of MX Linux in the past around a year and a half back when MX17 was released and was quite impressed by the performance. The distro feels extremely lightweight and one reason for that is it uses XFC as its main desktop. XFC for those of you that don't know is a lightweight desktop environment but popular among Linux users for being highly customizable. It is recommended for any system which is low on hardware resources. The other main reason is that it uses components of NTX Linux distro, which is a distro made for old system with bare minimum configuration. These reasons make MX Linux a solid performer in any computer with decent hardware. And performance is the main selling point of this distro. Alright, now let's look at MX Linux 19. MX19 is a major release and goes with the official release schedule of MX. The team brings one major release every year close to the end of the year in the month of November-December and point releases in between whenever required. The last version of MX Linux was 18.3 which was released in the month of May this year. Now being a major release, there's a lot of major changes and upgrades introduced. MX19 now uses the updated Debian 10.1 as its base. The last version of MX was based on Debian 9.9. .9. It runs on Linux kernel 4.19 which is not the latest but MX Linux is not a bleeding edge distro. So software wise you are getting a little older versions of softwares but they are thoroughly tested to ensure a stable experience. Now to install MX Linux on your system, head over to MX Linux website and under products drop down, go to product overview. Here you have an introductory video about MX Linux and then you have download links to download the ISO image. MX Linux still supports both 32-bit and 64-bit systems and you have installation files for both processor architecture. The installation image size for 64-bit system is about 1.5 gigs. Now after downloading, you boot to the installation image. MX Linux supports both BIOS and UFI boot methods. The installation is handled by MX Custom Installer which is based on Gazelle Installer. The design and look of the installer feels very outdated. The installation process itself is a little clumsy. You give the partition to install MX Linux. There is also option to encrypt the partition and then the installation starts. But you cannot leave the system just yet. After few minutes the installation pauses at around 94% with a message paused for required operator input. And this message appears at the progress bar. There's no alert pop-up or message box to alert the user. This is quite confusing and could be done more intuitively. I have not seen any distro that have such interruption during install. Anyways, you click next and enter computer name and domain name. And then there's an option for Samba server for networking with Windows computer. I feel this option can just be avoided during install because not many users are aware what Samba server is and it might just confuse them. The option is anyways available in the settings after you install the system. Next you set the time zone and create a user, give root password and then the installation resumes and finishes in a few minutes. After reboot, you get to the login manager. Now the login manager is ok. Nothing special, no fancy theming or cosmetic brilliance of any sort. But I guess the audience of MX Linux do not mind it. It gets the job done just fine. Now this is the default desktop of MX Linux. It's XFCE 4.14. 
which was released in August this year. The panel position by default is on the left side, but I prefer it at the bottom screen. It kind of resembles to the Windows XP setup, which is not a bad thing and many Linux users prefer this old school design of user interface. MX Desktop also comes with Conkey widgets pre-installed. There's an entire library of widgets which you can apply as per your choice. I have made a complete video on Conkey Manager and how to customize it a while back. You can check that for detailed information. Now the XFCE desktop as I mentioned is highly customizable. You can tweak almost every little detail of the desktop like location, color, size, themes, transparency, blur settings, etc. Almost every element is customizable. Even the boot screen can be customized using the MX boot setting utility. But you need to give some time to understand where to look for a specific setting. For that MX team has built an exclusive tool for their distro called MX Tools, which is like all-in-one application for all essential desktop setting. However, it's not a dedicated software on itself, but rather an app that contains links to different utilities. So when you click on any option, it opens that particular application. Now one downside that I find while using MX tools is that there is some redundancy of settings which creates ambiguity. For example, there are few panel settings under tweaks and there's also a separate panel application with few additional settings. All right, now as far as availability of software packages are concerned, MX Linux uses their own MX repos along with repos of Debian Stable and NTX Linux. Flatpak packages can also be installed directly from Package Manager. The other important change in MX19 that comes with the upgradation to XFCE 4.14 is the support for HIDPI setting. Nowadays you find laptops with high resolution screens or 4K screens and without HIDPI settings you cannot take full advantage of all the pixels. Though the setting is available but it's not at the ideal location. Instead of adding the option under display, the option is under settings manager and then you go to appearance and then the last settings tab and right at the bottom you find the settings for windows scaling. This I feel should have been added under display menu like most other Linux distros. The scaling is also not as smooth as you find in other distros. In my testing, the bottom panel and the Conkey widget never scale properly and you have to restart the system for scaling to take effect properly. Now the default installation gives a pretty decent list of pre-installed apps. The package manager is apt and for those who do not like to work on terminal, its GUI frontend Synaptic is also available. Now as I mentioned at the beginning, the distro is all about performance and MX Linux has find just the right mix to become the leader in this category. The minimum system requirement that you need to run MX Linux is a i686 Intel or AMD processor, 512 MB of RAM and just 5 gigs of hard drive though 10 gigs is recommended. Now this configuration is quite low and if you install it in a little modern machine it will be blazing fast. Also right, that was all about MX Linux 19. It is one of the best distro in terms of performance and gives you complete value for your hardware. The distro is aware of its target audience and is kind of clear in what they want to focus on. So if you're looking for a no-nonsense Linux distro that is built to give optimum performance for your hardware, give MX Linux a try i'm sure you will love it all right so that was all for today thank you for watching this video if you like this video kindly press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or feedback do type that in in the comment box and a huge shout out to all the subscribers of xps tech channel thank you for supporting me all right thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time